Hi, I am Pera Shafira Natasha. Hi, my name is Kintai. Hi, my name is Miaoyi. Hey, my name is Fati Natasha Binti Rosli. Uh, my magic number is A170663. I'm Noor Asmina Zafira Binti Muhammad Amin. My magic number is A169547. Our group will be doing a loan words passing marathon. Come, let's join us to learn this unique and interesting loan words in English. Let's go! Kiasu. The origin of Kiasu is Chinese Hokkien dialect. Its literal meaning is fear of losing out, which leads to anxious behaviors. Today, we can use it to describe someone who is afraid of losing out and subsequently acts selfishly in order to outstand everyone. The first word is gung ho. Gung ho is an adjective word that means extremely enthusiastic about doing something. Uh, it can be used in a sentence like this. Uh, for example, so you're kind of going gung ho for the girl. Get it? The word was originated from China, which the original word is gong he. Gong he means work together. After that, during World War II, the term was picked up by U.S. Marine as a slogan. Major Edward Carlson was impressed by how the Chinese troops worked together using a system of cooperation they call gang ho. Wanderlust Wanderlust is a strong desire to travel and explore the world. The term originates from the German words wandern to hide and lust desire. For example, Wanderlust has led her to many different parts of the world. The term wandern frequently misused as a false friend does not in fact mean to wander but to hide. When the two words are placed together, it will be translated as enjoyment of hiking. But in English, it is commonly described as an enjoyment of strolling, roaming about or wandering. Bundle is a noun, which means a package wrapped together. It can also be used in a sentence, such as a baby wrapped up in a blanket is a bundle of joy. And if it's cold outside, bundle up. Bundle comes from the Middle Dutch word for pine, which is what you do when you bundle stuff together. Yep, you bind it together. Santoku. Santoku is defined as a medium-sized, multi-purpose kitchen knife. Santoku is originated from Japan and it is first used in the 1993. Santoku has entered the English loan words in 2017, according to Merriam-Webster. Santoku has uh, always been used as an English loan words by the chef because they always use various kinds of kitchen knife for different purpose. Chasu is a noun from the Chinese Cantonese dialect, which literally means fork roasting, the act of placing your meat at a fork to be roasted. Traditionally, from the ancient times, chasu means barbecued meat marinated in a sweet and savory sauce, typically served in thin slices or strips. Today, chasu generally means barbecued meat. Schnitz is actually a uh, short for Schneider, which is a term originally used in the card game of Jin, meaning to prevent an opponent from scoring any points. Uh, usually, the word can be used in a sentence like this. On the Schnitz means uh, to be on a losing streak. Uh, the dictionary says uh, it is chiefly US slang and traced its first use uh, in 1969. 
Calamondin. Calamondin, or also known as calamansi, is a type of citrus hybrid fruit most widely cultivated in the Philippines, where it is called as calamonding or calamansi by the Tagalog, Kamampangan, and Pangasinan people of Philippines. This citrus fruit is most widely known as calamansi, but in the United States, especially in Florida, it is known as calamondin. Calamondin is important in culinary arts, thus this word has been added to Oxford English Dictionary in 2018. Fest. Fest is a noun that means an assembly of people engaged in a common activity such as film fest, get fest, poetry fest, and love fest. The origin of the word festival can be traced to the Latin festa meaning the religious holiday. And that word came to English via French as the adjective festival. For example, a great religious festival is held here every 12th year. Monday. Monday is defined as very ordinary or not interesting. In other words, boring. Monday is originated from Latin mandus to late Latin mandanus to old French Monday. And now, the spelling has changed to Monday. This word has been used since the 17th century, but since this past year, the word became popular as the science fiction fandom has been using this word frequently. Wet market. This term comes from Singapore when the government used it to distinguish traditional markets from supermarkets. The word wet, in addition to market, refers to the constantly wet floors at the market due to the activities there. Nowadays, it means a market selling different fresh produce like vegetables and meats, typically in an open-air setting. A noun word uh, that means a person who engages in crime and violence such as hooligan or gangster. This is an, exa an example how this word can be used in a sentence. Okay, a group of hoodlums head up the convenience store. Get it? Okay, uh, the word well, has been identified throughout the 1870s as a California word, uh, which it means young street rowdy lover. Uh, especially one involved in crime uh, or violence against Chinese immigrants. Class. Class. The term originates from the Yiddish class meaning wooden beam and also cognate with German class meaning block or lump. Etymologically, it is the same word as the modern English words cloth and cloth. Originally from an old Indo-European word meaning round like a fist. In English, it is most often refers to a person who is very uncoordinated or clumsy. In other words, classes often have accidents and break things. For example, you might say, don't let my brother move your TV, he is such a class. Chadis. Chadis is a noun from Indian which means underpants. underpants. But originally, Chadis is known as short trousers and shorts. But now, usually, most people call it both as underwears and underpants. This word was popularized by the British comedy series, which is Goodness Gracious Me. Cascabel Cascabel is defined as a small, rounded, moderately pungent chili pepper. In Spanish, cascabel means small bell. This word is first used in the 17th century and it is originated from medieval Latin, cascabellus, and then to Catalan, cascabel, and then the spelling has changed to cascabel in Spanish. 
This word has entered the English loan words in 2017, according to Merriam-Webster. Cascabel is often used by a person who wants it to make a spicy sauce. Yum! That's all from us. We hope you learn something new and enjoy our loan words passing marathon. Thank you. Bye.